Hi there, welcome to this build of a 40 inch wingspan Clancy Aviation Speedy B. Now in the last video we got the wings, the turtle deck and the nacelle covered and I'm really pleased with how that went and we're using Aura cover. Now in this video we're going to be carrying on and getting the fuselage covered so that we're more or less got the covering finished. And I'm really excited now to get on with the fuselage and see how the colours blend in or fit in with the design we've got on the wings and the turtle deck. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be having a blue piece on the front like that with these fingers. This is one of the templates that we, or the trim patterns that we get off the plans that we downloaded from Outer Zone. So we're going to be having a blue section on the front like that with the fingers and then the rest of the fuselage is going to be yellow. And we're going to have yellow underneath except for this very front bit where it ties in with that where we're going to have this blue. Now the bit I'm looking forward to doing is the turtle deck. We're going to carry on this blue fading out along this uh, longer on here to the tip of the fuselage and then we're going to have the yellow coming out and joining in with the bottom of the fuselage. I think this is going to look really good, I can't wait to do it. But now we need to think about the order we're going to do that in and we'll take a look at that now. Now I'm going to do the fuselage in a number of pieces. I'm going to have a piece for the bottom, I'm going to have a piece for the side to about there, I'm then going to have a seam and I'm going to have a piece just for this last bit because this is going to be a little bit tricky to line up with the uh, the turtle deck on the wings and it will be a lot easier that way and if I have the seam here it will be under the wing and we won't see it. Now the piece on the underside of the fuselage is only going to come to here and then this is going to be a separate piece and the colour of that is going to tie in with the flamed piece or the fingered piece we've got on the front. But we need to do this in a certain order, which is going to make it a little bit tricky because we want to make sure that all the seams are downwind, downflow. So for example, the seam that we're going to have here, we need to put the back piece on first and then we need to have the front piece that comes and overlaps that. So the wing's not trying to push that seam open, it's trying to push it closed. And the oil, if it's coming down here, isn't going to be pushed into the seam, it's just going to flow over. That's the plan. And similarly, on the underside, we're going to bring that up onto the fuselage and then we'll take the fuselage down and just bring that along the bottom. So any fuel that, or oil that comes down the fuselage side will drip, just drip off the bottom rather than hitting a seam along here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up the pieces for the back which are going to be two colours of course because they're going to tie in with our uh, turtle deck, the blue, the um, I'm using the Corsair blue and the cub yellow. And the techniques I'm going to be doing is going to be exactly the same in the previous video, so it might be worth watching that if you haven't seen it already, where I'm going to be joining the two pieces of film that have been cut to size, so I've got the panel composed of the two colours, and I'm going to be putting that on wax paper, ironing it to stick it together, and then I'll be sticking it as a whole onto the fuselage. So, like I say, well worth having a look at how I did that in the last video. I'm not going to repeat it in this one. So I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put on this underside and I'm also going to make up these panels that come back to here for the side and these. So I'm going to, as I say, I'm going to be using these trim patterns and I'll start cutting that out now. And when we've got those all together, I will come back and I'll show you what we've got and how far we've got. And incidentally, as far as the tools I'm using, have a look in the previous video and all that's discussed. I don't, I don't want to really lengthen this video out explaining all that again. So, 
I'll get on now and start to set this out. Right, well, just a very quick update. I've cut the piece for the underside and I've got that just weighted down on there and I'm going to iron that on in a second. And I've cut out the left-hand panel of the fuselage and we've got the blue, the yellow, and this was square, but I've cut off this piece. So we've just got that kind of half inch lap overlap. We've got a seam coming along here. So I'm going to iron that on now as soon as my iron comes up to temperature. And as I've said in the previous video, really nice cool heat, 100 degrees. We just want to stick it. If it starts shrinking, we've got problems and we need to start again. So I will get on and do this. Well, I'm ready to start cracking on with this now and getting this covered. I've already done the underside of the fuselage and as I said, I've wrapped that up around the, uh, the sides and just a little bit on the front there. And now the sides are gonna go on top of that and be cut flush with the bottom. Now I've done both of the sides ready to go on. That is the right hand side and we've got the, I think this is the left hand side, hopefully it's the left hand side and not two right. Yeah, here we've got the left hand side and then we've got two pieces, there's another one, so, oh here it is, two pieces like this which are going to go on the side of the fuselage and they are just going to go on like that and this blue line will line up with the, uh, the blue line on the back of the, the fuselage. Now I'm going to put on these back two pieces first because as I said earlier I want the seams to be downwind so I will get those on and then I will get I can't find the right one and then I will get these on and this will overlap it. It still needs trimming just a couple of inches to come off that. Uh, there's some to come off this as well. I've kind of been fairly generous with these pieces because I, um, I just wanted a lot to play with so I could move it around and not worry about whether the piece was big enough or not. So, and that, yeah, that is going to be cut flush with the bottom as well. So I'm going to get these two pieces on and then we'll have a look at getting that side piece trimmed and on. Now that side piece, as I said, is going to be trimmed flush with the bottom there until we get round to the front here and then I'm going to pull it round so that the wind is pressing against that seam as it flies and then I'm going to put a piece of blue on there down to wherever the blue is on that and then I'll finish it off with another bit of yellow, just a small piece. But all the seams will be downwind. Right, well wish me luck. I'm going to try and uh, line this up with the fuselage now. To be honest, I think it'll be fairly straightforward, but famous last words. Right, well I've now got this side finished and it's gone on really nice. 
and I love this front it looks really good and it's I've managed to kind of shrink it down around the bits of uh, the bits of plywood here that are just a little bit proud that's for the uh, for the shock absorbers and this is for the uh, axle box and I've shrunk that as well this may need a little bit more shrinking I, I didn't want to touch it too much until i would got the other side done so I've still got that to do but I thought we'd take a quick look at it and shall we put the wing on see how it looks why not there we go nice tight fit and you can see that flows lovely along the back there now and you've got that fantastic bit on the front that just blends the whole wings and everything in and the, the um, nacelle so I, I'm really pleased with the look we've got so far so got to do the other side now and hopefully not mess up <laughs> right well I've got a little bit of an update or perhaps confession it, this uh, didn't go quite as planned and so I ended up stripping it all off the problem was I couldn't get the sag out of this blue no matter how hard I tried and I ended up just making a mess of it and I think the problem is that it's such a narrow strip that while trying to shrink the blue it was I, I couldn't get it hot enough without heating up the joint between the blue and the yellow and so the glue was soft there and it was just sliding it was pulling the joint apart but also and I think more importantly this top piece of balsa here is quite a soft piece of balsa and it was causing it to sag as well it was pulling that down and also the longer on here I think was perhaps moving and it just got really ugly when I did the other side which I, I've also stripped off I uh, it had a little bit of sag and I thought it would come good in the end and um, I thought I could just tension it a little bit more once I'd finished both sides but doing this side just seemed to make that side worse and again causing this to sag down a little bit so the solution I've come up with and I've just I've just covered that now and I'm really happy with it you can see that's gone on lovely what I did was I put a little bit of 116 1.6 mil sheeting between this longer on and this top and that has just really firmed up that top area I then put the yellow on got that nice and then put the blue on and then just finished off with a little bit of shrinking so this balsa here is not only supporting the the top and that longer run but it's giving something for that blue to stick and grip to as it shrinks so much better job so if you're going to do anything like this then that absolutely a, a, a much better job and it's added very little weight and to be honest I was always concerned about this soft top because it was quite vulnerable and yet now it seems really strong and secure so I'm gonna get on now and redo this side and then we can get the covering on the rest of the fuselage right well definitely on the home stretch now and I feel really relieved to get this done after having to strip it off and that's gone on really nice I'm really pleased and definitely the better way to do it and as you can see I've got both the side panels on now and uh, they meet up nicely at the same kind of angle uh, or, or the same point on the front here and now I'm going to put a little bit of yellow coming down and overlapping the yellow on the underside there and then I'll put the blue on and overlap the yellow and so the wind the pressure is pushing against that we're not pushing against uh, trying to open the seam when I did the bits around the uh, the embossed plywood there I got the iron on I pushed it into the corner around the plywood and then just held it with a nail while the glue set and that seemed to work really well and that wasn't on a particularly high heat so just heating it and holding it in with my nail for the glue to set and, and, and that seemed to work really nicely I'm just waiting for my iron to cool down and then I'm just going to do the slot in the back here 
where the elevator, um, yeah, the elevator moves, and then I'm going to get this front done, and we're done. It feels like a real marathon this covering. I, I've been on it several days, even though I've edited this into just a single video. But uh, it'll be good when it's done. Well, I've now got the fuselage finished and I am so pleased and relieved to have got it done. I've done the slot in the back, just uh, cut that ready and filled in the back there ready for the um, tailplane to slide in. I've done the front and really pleased at how this comes out level and, uh, and looks great. It's such a relief to get this done and yes I had some difficulties on the back here but to be honest every time I cover a model I learn a huge amount more and I mean I'm no expert and I, I, I really do learn every time so if you're hesitant or a little bit nervous about doing covering then every time you do something you're improving and um, and don't get too hung up if you make a mistake you can take it off and redo it or if it's a small mistake leave it till the next day because something that looks big and glaring uh, when you've done it actually the next day doesn't look quite as bad off, often anyway and um, like I say it's a learning process as modelers we're learning all the time so let's get the wings on top of the fuselage and see how it fits there we go look at that oh brilliant I am really pleased to have got this done and I think that the, the design this traditional B design looks brilliant I wouldn't consider doing anything else so there we go well, I've still got the tailplane, the elevator, the rudder to do. Is that it? Oh, and the ailerons. I thought there was something else missing. But I'm going to draw this video to a close now because I don't want to make it too long. And I will get those done in time for the next video. And the next video we're going to be looking at pulling all this together and um, installing the servos, fitting the ailerons and the tail and just getting this ready for the airfield and one thing I would say before I cover the ailerons it's really important for me to find those hinges because I can use the hinges in the, the aileron which is they're still in there they're up on the shelf up there somewhere and I can use those to line up so I can find the slots easy if I've got them both covered it's harder to find where the slots are because you haven't got a reference point. So anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this and found it useful. And please come back and see how we get on in uh, pulling this Speedy B together ready for the airfield. So thanks very much.